Hi, I'm super excited. I just got the NBN, the National Broadband Network Internet, installed here in my lab. And if you've been following my internet lab saga for the last, what, almost six years, I think I've been here uh, in this commercial office uh, complex um, here in Sydney, then you'll know that this is a big deal. It's finally happened. Now, I've done uh, two videos on the NBN before. I'll link those at the end of the video. They'll pop up here somewhere, something like that. Um, and watch those. One was like a couple of years back about the insanity of getting business internet in any business park here in Sydney, let alone this one. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, uh, when I first moved in, I had um, ADSL2+, Plus, which was uh, getting me like 800 kilobits per second upload speed and being a YouTube content producer, that was a killer. I, I had to go home to upload my videos where I actually had 2.4 megabits upload. Anyway, it was many thousands of dollars to get a professional 10 meg, 10 meg with 100 meg data cap, <laughs> mind you, uh, installed here in this commercial office through uh, some of the normal providers. And in the end, I had to get my own fiber installed into this building, even though there were like three or four other fibers coming into the building, had to get my own one installed to get the fantastic deal of uh, 440, I think it's $420 per month that I'm paying for internet, or I was paying for internet for the last four years, uh, no, a couple of years I've had that um, here in the lab. And that had a 500 gig per month data cap as well for the privilege of $440 a month. That was super cheap internet for a commercial business in a commercial business park like I'm in here. But anyway, the government, me, the taxpayer, has just spent like 30, 40 billion dollars installing what's called our NBN, the National Broadband Network, and it has all sorts of issues. It's been screwed up and like it's not fiber to the premises, it's fiber to the node and just like, uh, I won't go there. I do have fiber just installed. My uh, building was wired up for the NBN ahead of time, by the way. Um, fiber just outside, up on the ceiling, uh, just up there. And I just had the NBN installed. I'll show you in a second. Now, uh, what I've... Well, actually, no! I'll show you what I've got. Here it is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Here we go. This is what I get now. 88.6 megabits per second. This is just a uh, wireless test, a 5G test with my uh, phone here because I don't have the Ethernet. I've got to run a couple of Ethernet cables. But 88 meg upload and 37 meg download. Let me just run that again um, and show you that live in quote marks. Now, the NBN is not necessarily reliable. Um, if a lot of people start downloading at once or uploading at once, then it's going to cause contention. There's all sorts of network infrastructure issues with it and stuff like that. But there you go. Um, I've just had it installed and it looks fantastic. Now, the there are uh, not, there is no, in a, with the NBN, the ridiculous thing is there is no service level agreement. There is no business grade NBN. It's all considered like just residential kind of thing, which is oh, insane. So yeah, I can't get a professional business NBN connection and pay more and get a service level agreement, SLA they're called, which is what I have at the moment. The good thing about my existing connection I had for my $420 a month is that they would fix it, bam, straight away. They'd be on it in 10 minutes if something went wrong. I had a service level agreement guaranteeing everything. Now I don't have that, but I'm only paying now 100 bucks a month, including the phone for unlimited data. And that is just, I know, compared to a lot of countries in the world, this is just still ridiculously overpriced and ridiculously underperformance. But for Australia, and especially a commercial business park like I've got, it is stunning, it's game changing, especially the unlimited data. It means that I can now stream video, have webcam, stream video 24 seven without running into a data cap, which is what would happen before. I couldn't even stream full HD, let alone stream it 24 seven. If I streamed it for a day, I would have used up my data cap. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, 
let's go check out the install. Um, I was very impressed, by the way, with the NBN Co. NBN Co was the name of the company or the, uh, you know, the government organization that installed all this. Um, the notifications I got, they turned up on time. I got multiple notifications of the install. They installed it like within two weeks of my request and I was thoroughly impressed. The tech who installed it, meh, but you know, you get, it did, did a decent job in the end. It just took a little bit, um, but yeah, fantastic. So let me go show you. Let's go have a look at the, uh, at the hardware. So please excuse the crudity of the handy cam. But I'll show you what we've got now. It's not, um, it's not, I haven't put it up in the, uh, in the little holder up there. I just uh, wanted to show you. This is the NTD or the network termination device. Sorry, we're in a cupboard. You're going to get some echo. Um, and this has four ports, four Ethernet ports. So it converts the fiber in on the right hand side there. So the fibers just come in from the fiber connection, just like one meter away outside my window there. And that gives me four Ethernet connections. Now, in theory, um, and in practice, I, so I've heard, you, I can actually buy four different $100 a month plans, tie them together with a router that actually supports um, those four separate internet connections, and I could technically get 400 meg slash... Uh, yeah, so the plan I've got... Uh, by the way, is 100 meg download and 40 meg upload unlimited data. So I could multiply that by four times if I paid 400 bucks a month, like I'm currently paying at the moment. And over here, I've also got two phone connections. Um, so that does include a phone connection uh, uh, with that, but I don't currently have a phone, but I will. Um, that is a battery backup. I don't know if they install that in every install. I've heard that they may not. So technically, I believe it's got like a six hour backup because the whole idea, you know, you don't want your telephone to go down or something like that. Um, and yeah, and I just got a, a new uh, 5G wireless router that just came with the internet plan I'm in. So that's it, the network terminal uh, device, NTD. Um, they had a bit of a goof up uh, down in the um, MDF room. I've done a video on that, so check that at, out at the end. But that's um, basically all there is to the uh, to the hardware. It's a network terminal device, converts the fiber into the um, Ethernet, which then I can plug any router into. So, uh, sorry, got to put this back on my tripod. There we go. We're back in. So, I now have NBN and ditch my current $440 provider, who's been excellent, by the way. They've been absolutely um, superb and they've fixed issues quickly. If I have an issue with this, you just cross your fingers and hope they fix it as soon as possible because it's not business grade internet. You just can't get it. It is nuts um, that you can't pay more. Now, to happily pay more, maybe it depends on the price and get a service level agreement. But anyway, now I have unlimited data and uh, a faster connection, didn't necessarily need a faster connection before I had 20 meg, 20 meg by the way, uh, 20 meg symmetrical connection for $420 a month. Now it's 100 bucks a month, I've got uh, in theory 80 meg, 40 meg, whether, you know, you saw that with the 5G wireless, I got 80 meg, 38 meg or something like that with unlimited data, fantastic. And the other good thing about the NBN is that you don't have to sign up to uh, yearly plans. I paid like a hundred bucks install fee um, to get a month by month plan. Otherwise, if you waive the install fee, they will, uh, uh, you know, sign. you have to sign up for 12 months or whatever. But I just, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm with uh, TPG for those who care. I'm get also getting NBN installed this Friday at my other office. Uh, once again, that's fiber. It'll be exactly the same as this, but I'm using um, Exitel, I think it is. So I'm using, just comparing two different providers, see, you know, which one works. But I was thoroughly impressed this thing works, whether or not it's good. It should be. It's fiber, right? But I have heard that there are, you know, contention issues and stuff like that, where um, if everyone's downloading the latest Netflix movie at the same time or whatever, then it could be a problem. So there's all sorts of issues with how NBN, it's just our current government decided fiber to the node and then copper the rest of the way. I also might get it installed at home as well, um, but I'm getting HFC, is it HFC, fiber, hybrid 
fiber coax. Um, so it's fiber and then goes over my existing cable, Telstra cable coax connection. So it should be pretty good. Um, I believe I'm one of the first to get one of those HFC connections. So I'll probably sign up for that one as well at home. Um, but this is great. With both of the offices here, I currently pay 700 and something dollars per month with a 500 gig data cap. It's ridiculous. So the new NBN is faster, in theory, unless everyone downloads everything, faster upload, which is great for a content producer like me, and unlimited data, which changes the way I can potentially do my business in terms of streaming content and stuff like that. Now I can actually store all my video content in the cloud, whereas before I had to install, I you know, bought like dozens of hard drives to duplicate all my backup, I store all my original raw footage and stuff like that. So now I can, back that up on the cloud and do other stuff. So, fantastic. I was I'm thoroughly impressed by their speediness of the install and it went fine and it works and it no issues whatsoever. Apart from a little goof, they labeled the fiber down. When he first hooked it up, they labeled the fiber wrong. You had to put the torch in and then go back down to the MDF room and figure out, ah, oh, they've swapped it. You know, the label chart was wrong or something like that, but all fixed in a matter of minutes and it's good to go. So I'll let you know long term, the big test for the NBN will be uh, doing the Amp Hour radio show where we do an hour or more of just continuous streaming audio and any glitches, any dropouts, any issues like that will come across. Um, you won't find that on your regular internet connection. So anyway, I haven't hooked it up Ethernet yet, but wow, I've been waiting years for this. Fantastic. It's going to save me. Uh, between both offices, $500 a month in savings, as well as giving me faster and more data. Fantastic. Good to see my tax dollars going somewhere, even if it wasn't the best solution. It was ridiculously overpriced, and there's lots of issues with the NBN, which we won't get into. But anyway, there you go. NBN. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Catch you next time.